Hello, boys and girls. I'm finally back after a <laughs> yeah, very long time. Is it? Yeah, sorry about that. But I finally got the courage to quit my yeah, job. I'm here to tell you that I'm quitting. Think my life over. You want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. Decided to work on my channel from now on, which is great, I guess. Throughout my solitude, I started picking up yet again on doing concept artworks and illustrations to help me get over my depression. And is there any other fun, better way to relearn and improve your art by reimagining older artworks? I don't think so. So I got this artwork right here from way back 2018 and taking a closer look into it you can see that it's not that detailed of an artwork. The overall perspective as well as the composition does not seem picture worthy if I may say. The colors, the lighting, and some areas having higher detail values while most areas are simply just plain and bland. I may be too harsh to my older self and you know the 2018 me may say whatever it's my own stylistic interpretation maybe and to be honest this artwork looked good way back when I was 18 but looking back at it again today I personally think it sucks We all know that art is all subjective. What looks good to someone else may look pretty bad to another. But with this video, we'll see what today's me can do if quote unquote today's me would try to do something the 2018 me wanted to do during those days. I started blocking out my piece and I figured the best way to do a block out is to somewhat make an anatomically accurate attempt of a skeleton, where in this case a humanoid skull. Back when I was a kid, aside from wanting to become a game developer, one of my biggest dreams was to become a 3D animator. My dad got this program called 3DS Max when I was in junior high school and I think that program is mainly where these motivations are coming from. I played with the program a lot those days and it became my foundation to 3D modeling. It made me aware about what vertices, planes, sides are and gave me the overall spatial awareness with the X, Y, and Zs. Though, as time passed by, I seem to have neglected these motivations. I haven't touched any 3D modeling program for a long time, not until I found ZBrush, got myself into it, and with it, I was able to make this very first 3D art piece that I was able to complete in my entire life, and you'll get to see the results at the end of the video. The whole time I was doing this, I was actually taking a look at a Google image search of a skull as well as the facial muscular system, and I actually thought I was really smart right there. I felt like a goddamn biologist studying anatomy, though at this point of the time lapse, I actually got bored and I decided to throw all the quote unquote anatomical accuracy out of the window and decided, let's sculpt it like how real men do. which isn't actually good practice when it comes to art and I'm honestly afraid that I may trigger artists out there just by saying this but that's what I did and I had no idea what I was doing. What I wanted to achieve while I was doing this sculpting was the look that the 18 year old me had envisioned for this artwork. The gritty, ancient looking wood Trent-like creature. 
but I didn't want to make it look like a mere quote-unquote creature, a monster, or a beast. I imagined it would look like a godly being, a legend not feared but desired by the adventurers and was often talked about by the tavern keepers of this imaginary universe that I had running in my head. Here comes the part that I've enjoyed the most, painting. It actually took me a long while off camera to figure this out because I actually had no idea how to paint colors over a subject in ZBrush. After having figured it out, the whole process here was just to paint wood-like colors until I can get myself into the zone. Doing that over and over, I figured out the best way to make it look like wood is to paint darker colors inside the nooks and crannies and keeping the light colors outside. The original artwork had no eyes at all, but I decided to give her a green colored eye, which I think would actually look good if I make it glow green in post. Once I got done with the 3D model, I head right back on to Photoshop, which is actually my comfort program when it comes to anything 2D related, and witness the magic unfold. What I really wanted to make a difference from the previous artwork is the sense of scale. I wanted to make the subject look huge, godly, gigantic, as if this lone adventurer on top of a cliff stood not in fear but in awe of seeing a wonder such as the majestic creature in this art piece. Hey, that sounded almost poetic. So, 
What are your thoughts? Feedback, constructive criticism, that would be highly appreciated. Comment down any of your thoughts below. Leave a like as it would greatly help this small channel with the YouTube algorithm. And by the way, this artwork was just recently approved on this plate. So if ever you'd want to get a copy of this artwork printed on a metal sheet, at the same time support me and my channel with what I do, check the link on the video description. I'd be very happy if you'd get one. Thank you for staying till the end of the video. Highly appreciate it. Thank you guys. And I almost forgot. Before we go, don't forget to click that red button, okay? Bye-bye.